Hi, check this out. I was just uh, playing around um, doing some uh, precision microcurrent um, stuff, and I have my uh, Keithley, uh, my two Keithleys um, set up here, and I was hearing, I was sitting over at my desk. I've had them uh, actually powered up all night. I was playing with them last night and just left them powered up overnight so they're more stable, everything else, you know, because I'm doing accurate measurements and things. And um, I started, like, sitting at my desk hearing stuff, and it's not going to do it now. It's the white coat syndrome. Um, but I started hearing, like, these little clicks and things. I wasn't sure what it was. And, and then, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed that, well, I'll give it some percussive maintenance, um, I noticed <laughs> that uh, the Keithley 2400, 2400 source meter, uh, th there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, will it restart? Yeah, it was resetting, I, I glanced over, saw it in corner, there, there it goes, it's reset, model 2400, and it comes back good, and let's see if it goes again, um, so yeah, hey, there it goes, straight away, <laughs> straight away. There you go. It's resetting. Oh no! <laughs> my my good Keith Lee it was my good Keith Lee twenty four hundred source meter. Well, you know I did get it like used on eBay, so you know <laughs> you, you get what you get and you don't get upset. I got it cheap, but um, it, it's been a solid workhorse for years, and now it's just um, yeah, it's resetting or something. Like it works. Fine. I was actually testing it last night, and it was working brilliantly. I was cross-checking it with my um, main Keithley 7.5-digit meter, and everything's fine. You always do, like, a sanity uh, check, you know, just to, before you take any really critical high-precision measurements. You just, you know, do some cross-correlation uh, checking and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, it's it's come a gutter. So I don't know why. It's just, like, resetting or something. So... Wah, 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 wah. I'm gonna have to take it apart and have a squiz. Actually, first thing I'll do is just make sure it's not something dumb like the mains cable at the back. So I'll give that a bit of a wiggle, 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 yeah. And nah, nah. So it's not like a, you know, it's not just, <laughs> wasn't just flapping around in the breeze in the back. And uh, give the cable a bit of a, wiggle to make sure you know there's no like you know it's hard to break a conductor in the mains cable oh, no there it go no um yep no nah. it's hey whoa i just went to touch it and it no no it's not a physical thing so if I, oh god i can't even what it's a proximity sensor <laughs> bloody hell um oh yay okay. uh, see i wiggled the cable in the back and it just happened but that but now i'm wiggling it and it's not happening Right, so it's no, it's... <laughs> you can, you know, chase a red herring down a rabbit hole there if you're not careful. Um, you think things are correlated when they're actually not. So, no, I don't think it's just something that simple. I think there's something electronic-y inside.